It's a course in animal welfare science, ethics and law. So that is the science of assessing the welfare state of an animal in a particular setting. So students will develop the ability to formulate a view about the welfare of an animal which is based on sound science and, and a range of data. Students will review the main uh, schools of thought in animal ethics, so animal rights, utilitarianism and others, and that will inform uh, the ethical discussion. And then having considered the ethic, that, that feeds into the development of uh, associated laws and public policies about the animals in those particular settings. So all of those three elements, animal welfare, science, ethics and law, are central to the discipline uh, and to the master's degree and the associated um, other degrees that students will be able to do, such as postgraduate certificate and diploma. Well in this particular course we're going to probably more critically scrutinise uh, contemporary forms of animal use than occurs in many of the other courses that are available. At Winchester we're not the largest university in the world but we are really world leading in terms of the values that we promulgate so we believe in values such as compassion and social justice. Uh, they're very much core to, to our vision here at the university. So it's very appropriate actually that we have a course here that does focus on uh, more critically scrutinising some of the uh, common uses of animals that, that cause those welfare concerns. So apart from that, uh, we'll also probably focus on some species that are less covered in some of the other courses. So things like uh, pest animals, invertebrates, wild free ranging animals and the welfare problems associated with those that are sometimes neglected. We'll also supplement that with uh, seminars, so that's like a virtual classroom so students will be able to log in from wherever they are around the world using our video conferencing software and actually participate in a live seminar with the faculty members and, and their classmates uh, wherever they are located. If the student's not able to log in because they're on a, a difficult time zone, um, then those will be recorded and they'll at least be able to view those later. They'll still be able to participate via discussion forums that will occur uh, via the, the virtual learning platform that we have, so they'll be able to log in and comment at any time during the week on a particular topic. We want students to gain the ability to communicate about all of these animal welfare issues and demonstrate their knowledge and understanding in two really important ways. One is uh, through traditional academic forms of communications. As well, we would like the students to be able to uh, gain and, and demonstrate their skills in uh, preparing PowerPoint presentations uh, and uh, academic posters for use at academic symposia. Also we want students to gain the ability to uh, use more uh, general forms of communication that are suited to non-academic audiences because that's so important to so many employers actually in the field of animal welfare, the ability to get their messages out to non-academic audiences as well.